Alright guys, this is going to be a video that I'm going to make about uh, Flash making buttons. Um, this is just going to be a test for seeing if my news program Snagit 8 works very well or it, to see what um, to see how it is like to upload a pic, uh, a movie to YouTube. So, uh, let's get started. First, when you open up Flash, I, I'm using Flash 8, which is pretty far back so this this is action script 2 most of you who have new the newest flash would have action script 3 so completely ignore me and view some other uh, YouTube video please uh, this it's action script 3 is really very different so I'm gonna show you again how to make a button so uh, make a new uh, so first you would draw your object Let's find some pretty colors So first, draw draw your button. I'm making this a blue one. Uh, for and then what you want to do is double click it, convert, and then left right click it, then go to convert to symbol. Click on button, name it. I'll, I'm gonna call it button one. So now you have the button. Now. Well, see what you can do with a button is very cool. You can when you double click the button, it shows up, over, down, and hit. These are very these things are pretty cool. You you can also add different layers to a button too. So what a hit does, uh, what an up does is how it appears generally on, on the screen. What the over does is how it appears when you have your mouse over it. So let's say you want it bigger. So I'm going to make it bigger. Hold Alt Shift to do it. On some computers, it will it will change your uh, your language settings, but just change it back later. Um, so on my down, I'm going to change it into green. Now, the hit is a really cool uh, thing. You can make it on a hit thing. Whatever shows up on a hit, whatever is shown as positive color, not transparent, not complete, actually transparent would work too, but what, whatever shows up as there is something there, and if you hover over it, then it will also count as the button. So let's say we're going to put one dot right there. Now, let's go back. Click on the back screen right off here. Now, you have your button. Now what you can do is, is script it. Uh, I'll show you the lazy way of scripting. So usually, let's make the button play. So you just double click play, and uh, if you want it to re re release, press. Uh, when you want if to play after you release the button, press the button, release outside the button, pr press a certain key, or blah, 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 then you just change it on the release thing. So that's how you make a button. And, Different other things would be uh, here. I'll delete this. Is go to go to will just make you go to a certain certain frame or a certain uh, scene or some other place. You can have it go to and play or go to and stop, which will stop it as you play. There's also stop and stop out sounds. Stop is easy; just stops the movie from going. It's best if you have other buttons around, then you would want to stop the movie. Um, it, it's also it, this is also considered the pause when you have a movie. Stop all sounds; just stops all sound. Easy enough. Okay, so that's my video. Thanks for watching.